Catholic peace has gone on Facebook too. Portion colleagues who attend Zion Ministry, owned by Evangelist Ebuka Obi, Father Kevin Ugu, and Father Kai, both claim that Zion Ministry is not a Catholic ministry and has no approval of the Catholic Church. Father Kevin Ugu said Zion Ministry was founded on deception. He added that members of the ministry go as far as insulting Catholic priests who trying to tell them the truth about the ministry they attend and about the ministry whom they have now defiled. According to Father Kevin, the Zion ministry started his ministry under the guise that it is a Catholic ministry. That was the lie that was sold to everyone. Everything they did afterward was done to maintain and sustain that lie. This was why some Catholic priests with powerful priests we are used to authenticate and give credence to that crime. Then some Catholic practice we are introduced to make everyone believe that it is an extension of the Catholic Church practice like rosary, recitation, stations of the cross, Catholic hymn and song, use of image etc. For me, there is nothing wrong with praying the rosary or doing the station of the cross. In the early days of the ministry, masses were said and priests were invited. When the Archbishop of Lagos did not approve of masses being said there, the ministry resorted to going through the back door to invite priests to say masses. Then, on some occasions, some priests coming from the U.S. or outside the country to give testimony to validate that the ministry is Catholic and is a place to be. The problem of the Zion ministry stated from the beginning, it was founded on deception because if truly he wanted it to be Catholic, he would have listened to the archbishop and followed the procedure in which such ministry can operate in the church. We all know the church has rules on all this, but no, he wanted his thing in his own way which is not also a problem but still he wanted it to have a touch of catholic so that simple-minded catholic would not suspect anything today there are sunday service in zion ministry at a time when catholic are supposed to go to max then during lent they will organize station of the cross at the same time Catholic are supposed to be at their parishes. Then recently, they have acquired more space for the ministry. So, in essence, it is now a full church. Why was it difficult for him to just state this fact early and save everyone the stress? Even more worries is that people who call themselves Catholic will prefer to insult a Catholic priest because he tried to tell them the truth about the ministry they attend and about the ministry whom they have now defiled. Everything I say, some of you Zionites will see it as an attack or jealousy. Tomorrow you will say he is a staunch Catholic. Even Martin Ruther was a staunch Catholic and a priest from Father Karmidia and eyewitnesses just told me that masses and adoration of the blessed sacrament still take place in Zion ministry and that is why the Catholic who goes there think the place is in communion with the Catholic church. Well, it is not. He also said that members are instructed never to video or record this part in any form, perhaps to protect the disobedient ministry themselves. If this is true, it means that some of us priests and religious also need to go back to the seminary because this is a center that is proscribed by the Archbishop of Lagos Archdiocese and those who go there to celebrate this sacrament do so illicitly. The Holy Spirit does not and cannot engender confusion for the avoidance of doubt let me quote the document of the Lagos Archdiocese pertaining to this. If there are still any priests who come to celebrate Mass, Sacrament of Reconciliation, and other sacraments illicitly in the premises of the moment, 
to respect the dignity of their priesthood and do not allow material indulgement to becrowd their sense of respect of the law of the church. The law requires that priests do not go to celebrate any of the sacrament in any jurisdiction outside that in which they are incarnated without the due permission of the competent authority. A lay person cannot be a competent authority to invite and authorize a priest to celebrate the sacrament. Guys, no be smart, you know. See you guys in my next video. I love you guys. Let's best love you guys. Bye.